hello and welcome my cross stitch friends to my floss tube channel my name is amanda may and this is my channel art of design where we celebrate counting cross stitch include inclusion and in sustainable stitching if you are new to my channel welcome if you are returning i'm so happy you came back to spend some time with me today we have a little bit of a change of scenery i'm filming outside today it is beautiful the for the forsythia is blooming the daffodils are blooming and in typical Central Maryland fashion, you can't just hear the birds. You gotta hear a chainsaw, a lawnmower, some sort of equipment <laughs> running at all times. And also I'm kind of like in a flight path with, um, so there's like Fort Detrick and then BWIs, which is Baltimore. And then there's the smaller airports around here, um, but a lot of training and stuff happens. So anywho, enough about that uh welcome uh <laughs> this is going to be a quick little video i just wanted to check in today today is march 22nd 2022 less than one month out from nashville needlework market and still all of that goodies stuff so i have a couple of works in progress to show you i have my results for giveaway winner to talk about and then I had a couple books to show you. I'm hoping I'll be able to show you those. I'm like crossing my fingers, um, but we'll see how this all works. So I'm gonna start with a whip because it's the first thing in my hand. <laughs> and then we'll go from there. Oh, I thought I saw something. Okay, so the whip that I'm working on right now, it's out of Homespun Magazine and it's, um, it's the Australian Homespun Magazine. Uh, I'll, I'll put some stuff up so that you know it's, uh, so it's the cushion cross stitch graph and it's called a fluffle of bunnies, a fluffle of bunnies. And it's in the Australia Homespun Magazine, February 2021. 20, I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm stitching this on a piece of, it, it, I think it's a 16 count Ada, but it, it almost feels like an 18 count Ada. And it's one of those like screen printed. So there, if you see there, you can see there's some of the holes. I have to pre-stick my tapestry needle in to get the holes before I do my stitches. So this is a great sh to show you the difference here. So here I did two strands over one Ada box and it was bulky. I had a really hard time. I think I was using the wrong size needle. I think I was using a size 24 needle on this count thinking it was a 16 count versus I should have been using a size 26 tapestry needle. So shame on me. So here in the next box, I'm using the size 26 needle with only one strand versus the two strand and it's going so much faster and it looks so much prettier. I don't know if you can tell the difference in my stitching it's, I'm not gonna undo anything. I'm just gonna keep moving forward. So it's, and then the border is done. I'm using two strands, but the appropriate needle. <laughs> and I'm doing a complete thread conversion. So this this chart, Fluffle of Bunnies, she did it all in a, like a variegated pink, I believe. Um, yeah, variegated pink cotton. So the whole thing is one color and I'm mixing it up and adding some colors. So I've got a bunch of different colors here from like Fiesta is one of my favorite pinks by Color and Cotton. And then that um, X U X J U design stuff. I have some Victorian motto and some of the older co color and cotton stuff. And Victorian motto. I like really like her Arizona sunset. I don't know if she makes that anymore. And then this one is out of the Halloween. This green is so pretty. I don't know what, um, it's it, just Friday the 13th out of the XJU Halloween box. And then here, I mean, you can see I've just got a kind of a hodgepodge of colors. So I'm just pulling colors as I go. And so far that's working for me. I don't know what that noise is. I'm so sorry, but I love all the spring colors. I love them so much. So I'm working on that project and I've been keeping it in one of this, my little bags. And then I have this little project tote thingy that um, 
I got help, um, Diana helped me make. So I've just been laying my threads down here and then just grabbing what I need and going and qu quickly stitching. So someone asked me how I stitch so quickly because, um, so my room at Nashville, except for, th I had three items in my room, um, all but those three items I stitched myself, everything else. Um, so the three I had in my room, no, four, I'm taking it back. Look at this, I'm just making up words. So I had four things all together. Um, the Blue Heron, my Chesapeake Bay series Blue Heron was stitched by Deborah. She also stitched the Count the Creamers and then she st stitched the the big girl, um, Miss Eliza B. Uh, Eliza Eleonora Ballhatch sampler. She's the one that's in my new book. And then my fourth one, uh, with permission from Stephanie of Lindy Stitches, uh, she stitched that for me and I had that as a model and that was my guinea pal. So, but everything else I stitched, my, stitched myself and someone was like, how are you stitching so quickly? So number one, um, I stitch in hand, which is, and I do like the sewing method. So it's a lot faster. And number two, I like to, I just started doing it. I would say about a year ago, I started loading my needles. What I mean by that is um, every single needle I've been loading them. Now that my kids are older, I'm, I'm comfortable putting eight to 10 needles with all the different colors, like all, I'm pre- so I just have to grab the needle and go like it already has the thread on it I had not done that a couple years ago because my children were so little and I wanted to be like safely know where my needles were and I didn't want to have like two out of ten needles unaccounted for and here's my baby like crawling on the floor type of thing so now that they're older and I trust myself more I trust them you know, don't touch mommy's sharp needles, I can load my needles. So loading and stitching in hand, um, good lighting, which I, that is something I've struggled with over the years. And you all who've been part of my channel know that, that I, I have a hard time with that. Um, and, and that's how I stitch quickly. And plus I love cross stitch. So, oh darn, I have to stitch. Oh, twist my arm. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, I want to say before anything else that, uh, so I'm in Maryland and I'm participating in the Needlework Emporium again in Bethesda, Maryland at the Women's Center of Bethesda. And that is gonna be on Saturday, April 9th. So just a couple weeks away. If you are in the area and wanna come down and say hi, hello, I will be there. I'm gonna bring my husband to help me so you can meet my husband. He really is a sweetheart, he's a sweetie. And so I'm gonna be having my book there so I haven't had my book so my book has been exclusive for Nashville attendees for the last month and then I will be debuting it for general purchase not a wholesale show general purchase at the Needlework Emporium so if you want to come grab my book um do a book signing I've never <laughs> it's so funny it's fun it's weird saying that um but why not right have a book signing I I, I wrote a book yay um so, and I'm gonna have my designs, like my models there and the charts. Um, and I was thinking about bringing some of my other little trinkets and bits and bobs and stuff too, so yay. And then there's a bunch of other uh, needlework people, you know, uh, vintage textiles and folk artist, Stacy Bear. She's really, her. she does spun cotton little miniatures with spun cotton heads and then she makes the little miniature outfits and their accessories and oh my gosh they're so dang cute and then just just beautiful artist stuff um vintage like thimbles and like all all the all the cool things right so i think it's worth coming to uh one of the vendors uh luna blue vintage they go to france and like bring back stuff from france so I'm honored to be part of the group. So yay! Okay, one more announcement, and then I want to show you more stitching. Uh, I did do my giveaway winner for a floss tube 147, and the giveaway was to get one of my bags. So this art of design, um, and it was screen printed by um, Chico Bags. So Chico Bags put it all together. It's one of their Vita bags, and it opens up into a nice big tote. Tope, tope, tope. All right, so 
what I said was I'd bring, I did you something from market and then one of my goodies. So get a bag and then from market, I, I, I bought three things. I bought a needle, some needle minders from Bowair Art. She does some fused glass, Bowair. Oh, a red cardinal just flew by. Hi, honey. Hi, sweetie. So I bought a fused glass needle minder. I bought two skeins of silk and then I bought one other thing. So you are getting one of my two skeins of silk that I bought, purchased. So I went and uh, Trinway Silks. She was so nice. So I had been exposed to her silks back when I won the 2019 ornament contest with Just Cross Stitch. They included Trinway Silks in there. That was the first time I stitched. I stitched a red cardinal. Oh wow, that, how cool is that? Hi, sweetie. Yeah, you, perfect timing. You came right as I was talking about cardinals. Um, by Blackbird Designs. So um, anyway, I picked up a different red. So it's uh, red 26. So you'll be getting that. Well, hi, yeah. Oh, you are so beautiful, bye. Thanks for stopping by. And then for one of my patterns, you're gonna get um, Nashville boobies and I and the little accessory pack stuff to make her. Yay! So uh, what I did was I had the keyword honey bunny. I asked you to use it in a sentence. So I had 59 unique comments. I did the number random number generator. The num the random comment picker thing was a bust. So I couldn't get that. It wouldn't load. Anyway. I did random number generator because I had 59 unique comments and one through 59 and it picked comment 10 and that was Paula. So thank you, Paula. Get a hold of me, okay? Uh, down below is my email. Another little plane. So there's my giveaway stuff. Birds of a feather, beware of cats. <sighs> Love this one. So I, these are the colors that I used. I used ruby, carrot cake, banana pepper, uh, salamander, and I'm hearing all the birds and seeing them, and I'm getting excited. And here is my finish, and I did it, I stitched it two strands of um, the cotton over dyed with um, over two of the linen threads, and this was an unmarked linen. And I love it! So I did do the Halloween part, I did not put the year and I love it so much. And I did what they called for, for the whiskers, the long stitches. But I love the way the variegated cotton made the mouth. Look, I think it's so beautiful. So beware of cat, I love it. So that's another finish. So I need to get that all put together for Halloween. All the birds. So the, the my trees are blooming in my garden. And all the things okay and then I have another finish no no so this is uh, by stitchy princess black and it is she is a Ukrainian designer I will have a link to her shop she is still in Ukraine um, I, I checked on I've been checking Instagram every day to see if she's posted and to see how she's doing I don't know her personally but she is a counted cross stitch designer who lives in the Ukraine and is there right now. So I stitched this on a piece of Ada fabric that I hand dyed myself. And the fun thing about this project was I actually used, this is the fabric that I dyed live on a Facebook live that I did back in 2020, 2021, 2020. Yeah, with Annie's Publishing, Facebook Live, How to Dye Ada. And I did this like real time. So I don't know if I have a link for that, but I'll try to see. Anyway, this is the one of the pieces of fabric that I dyed. So 
I stitched it all as um, the pattern as charted, but I, I changed my colors. So I used the same colors that I'm using in the Fluffle of Bunnies, that homespun pattern. And I I used, so here it's not as dark. I did do, I did switch out. So she charted these in like more of a brown and I did like a green and blue, which I think looks really nice. And then the egg and then the little chicks. So I love this so much. This is on um, 16 count. 16 count Ada, and I think it's really precious. So, yay! So this is the second one of hers I finished, Stitchy Princess Black, and I'm really happy. Um, so hopefully I gotta get some more, uh, gotta get some more Easter stuff done and put up and hopefully crossing fingers that I could do like an actual like show and tell of my Stitchy stuff put out. Um, do we have time to talk about a couple things? Yeah, we'll talk about a couple things and then I will have to skedaddle. Okay. I'm gonna let this big vehicle drive by. Okay, I have been going through my vast collection of uh, needlework books. I love needlework. Uh, so, <laughs> what more can I say? And in the back of one of my uh, things was this, and it's, um, I got it for 50 cents at a yard sale or a thrift store or something several years ago. I got this book before I ever started cross-stitching. I think before I was even pregnant with my daughter because I was like, oh, that's really beautiful. I wanna learn how to do that. So here I, I went through like with fresh eyes, you know, after seven, eight years and looked at stuff. So this is a needle point. However, it's charted for counted thread, even on an even weave fabric. So that means you can do cross-stitch. So. You can look at a needle point chart and then do your own thread conversion. Like here, like this on the cover is this blue. You could pull blues, DMC or your fancy flosses, whatever you've got. Do your own thread conversion and follow a needle point chart like you would on cross stitch. So just because it says needle point doesn't mean you gotta do needle point. So I wanted to show a couple of these. So for our frog loving friends, Thinking of Amy, Amy loves totes. But wouldn't that be cute as a cross stitch? And do that finish as a cross stitch and not in wools. Or you could do it in wool cross stitch. This one, thimbles, etc. And it's like the gut thimble. But you could do, so all of that fancy, you could just do back stitches. Like you wouldn't have to, um, what else? So here's that blue one I really like. And then there's like the the dog. Oh, they did a, a sampler. So the sampler is in here. Again, it's it's charted for needle point, but you can do it in cross stitch. It has the charts there. And was is the dog? Yeah, the Staffordshire figures. And then you could do <laughs> isn't that fun? <laughs> you could do it as a 3D little dog. Anyway, this um They, they came out with three books. I have two of the three. And so I went, well, I can't just have, so this is the Venice collection one. I couldn't just have, I, Gloria Philia, Gloria Philia, Gloria Philia. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. So this one, so cool too. Again, needlepoint. Yes, I think I've shown you guys this one before, like the, the puppet excuse me, marionettes, the comedy Italian. Yes, I've shown you this book before. Anyway, so I ordered the third book and it should be coming, the base, um, it should be coming soon. And that one's for, like impressionists. And so I'm really excited about that. And then I wanted to grab, I grabbed my third book here to show you. This is uh, Elizabeth Bradley. So it's not um, the same, but the beautiful, this was also in my collection. 
but all of these can be transferable to cross stitch. Like there's that swan. I know I'm having a moment with swans right now. I can't help myself. So there's, oh, this parrot one is so pretty. I can't show you the chart, but there's, there's the picture. That bird, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And, oh, the bunnies, yeah, because every every time this time of year, as soon as the bunny stuff comes out, I'm like, yes, all the bunnies. But I mean, that would be like a full coverage cross stitch, but still so pretty. So just a couple books to think about. I'll have the link down below, like a, a list of the books that I have in my collection or that I've, these, I, I physically own these, um, but a lot of them, I do check out the library and I try to list everything down below. So. Thank you for spending some time with me today outside with all the noise and ruckus. And yeah, just know that I appreciate you so much. If you want to stop on by Needlework Emporium, awesome. If you can't make it too far away, all the things, uh, no problem. I'm going to have stuff. I'll post a shop update. Um, I guess April 10th or later, right? Yeah. And I'm working on another new release that's going to come out. Oh, and I'm, so I'm model stitching that right now. So I can't wait to show you that. There's just so many awesome things. So please know that I appreciate you, that you matter, that your stitching matters. And uh, ah, I already said it. I'll say it again. I love you. So take care and happy stitching. Okay. Bye. Hello, sweetie baby. Hi. Yes, you're so pretty.